I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental, thanks for joining me. Naxos from Zerzhov and Pure Havan from Mugler, two of my favourite fragrances. They often get compared to one another, mainly because they're both tobacco honey fragrances. But I thought I'd just chime in with my opinion, so in this video I'll compare these two, let you know how close I think they are, and also I'm going to give you some cheaper clone options to Naxos. Stay tuned. absolutely love Pure Havan from Mugler. This is one of my favourite designer fragrances, one of the fragrances that really got me hooked on tobacco. It often gets referred to as the cheaper designer version of Zerzhov's Naxos, which is much more expensive, and I think I've probably made that reference in videos as well. For years, I was just using a decant of Naxos. I thought one day I would treat myself to a full bottle. Well, that day came quite recently. I am now the proud owner of Naxos. So I thought since I've got a full bottle of each of these, I can do some proper testing, really scrutinize the differences between these two fragrances and let you know if I think Pure Havan really is the cheaper designer version of Naxos. So basically, if you have this, do you need this? Let's get into it. The way that I'm going to do this is break it into five sections. We're going to start with the opening, then I'll talk about the dry down, performance, versatility, and then finally the price, and then I'm going to mention a couple of clones that I have that you might be interested in. So let's start with the opening. Is there a difference between these two in the opening? I think there is, yeah. They do have similarities in terms of, you know, they're both sweet fragrances with honey and tobacco, although I think the tobacco is different in both of these. But Pure Havan to me opens, I love the opening by the way, but it's got this quite rough, dirty opening. I think it's maybe coming from the patchouli. So it's quite a sweet, I'd say, youthful, maybe even a little bit juvenile in the opening, and, and that's not a criticism because I think that is one of the strengths of this fragrance. So it's got an exciting opening, it commands attention, it's not the most refined, smooth of openings to a fragrance, but I really like it, and when worn in the right situation, I think it works really well. So comparatively, the opening of Naxos to me is much less shouty, it's more subtle, it's more refined, it's smoother. I get uh, a juicy citrus in the opening of this, which I don't get. Uh, there isn't any citrus in Pure Havan. So it's got a brighter opening, it's got a smoother opening. Uh, it's overall more of a, an elegant, refined, sophisticated type of opening. So it's not as shouty. If you want to grab attention, then Pure Havan might be the one you'd go for. Like I said, they work differently in different situations, which I will go into a little later. So the openings of both of these two fragrance, really nice. I honestly couldn't say I prefer one over the other because they just work well in different situations. What about the dry downs? Again, there are differences which I'll go into. So Pure Havan starts off with this quite rough opening and actually that's not a negative. I, I really like the attitude uh, that this fragrance has in the opening, but it does smooth out a little bit, it does soften, and then there's quite a lot of depth to me to this fragrance. There's some amber and it leans quite heavily into the tobacco, so the, the honey and the tobacco work so well with this uh, and with the amber as well. It actually at times reminds me a little bit of CK1 Shock, not exactly the same, but it has similarities in, in that it's a very pleasing fragrance to smell. It's a very sweet, satisfying fragrance, but it doesn't necessarily smell like it's this amazing composition and fantastic materials have been used. No, it, it's not. It's none of that. It's just a good, fun fragrance. Naxos, for me, never goes quite as dark as Pure Havan, which I think makes this a more versatile fragrance. It retains this really nice, elegant, bright sparkle throughout the life of the fragrance, particularly in the opening with the citruses when they're more noticeable. It does have depth, despite it not being as dark as this one. It has a lovely depth, and that combines really well with the sweetness. So it's a really elegantly composed fragrance that remains lighter and brighter, but it still has a satisfying richness to it. Overall, I would say that this is more versatile because of that. I think I could wear this all year round. I could even wear this in the summer here in the UK. So if I was to be a little bit cruel on Pure Havan and call this a blunt instrument, I would say Naxos is more of an elegant tool. 
I'm just going to mention the tobacco and the honey because they are the main notes that I think link these two fragrances and it's why they get compared to each other so often. Both do the honey really nicely. I'd say in terms of the sweetness, to me, they're both quite similar. With the tobacco though, I think Pure Havan definitely leans more into a cherry pipe tobacco. I get this richer, more resinous feel to it. Whereas Naxos, I think, does the tobacco in a more subtle way. It's definitely there, but it's never quite as resinous as the tobacco in Pure Havan. So in terms of tobacco, Pure Havan is the one that scratches that itch, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I prefer this to this. Moving on to the differences in performance, Pure Havan has a louder opening to me. It's got more projection, it's got more attitude, it's more assertive, it's a little more playful and youthful and fun. And then the longevity on this is okay. It's not amazing longevity, so great opening. And then it sort of fades to be this, you know, really pleasant skin scent. Naxos is not as loud in the opening. It doesn't project as widely for me. It's quite funny, for years I was using a clone as a reference point for Naxos when I'd run out of my actual decant of real Naxos. And that clone is stronger than this. I'll go into that, I'll mention that in a couple of minutes. So this doesn't have the projection of the clone I'll mention or of Pure Havan, but because of that, it's more refined, it's more subtle. Not everyone wants a big, loud, projection and this does project it's not that it isn't projecting it's just that it's not quite as loud and as attention grabbing in the opening as pure havan but in terms of the longevity i actually get better longevity from naxos than i do from pure havan so this one will last me around seven to eight hours and then i'll get eight to ten hours off this so this does stay a skin scent for longer than this one and i think that's possibly because of better ingredients, better materials that are used, maybe more natural materials are used in Naxos, which is why it just lasts a little bit longer. So that has the better projection, this one has the better longevity. Versatility, for me Pure Havan is an amazing autumn winter fragrance. It's just got that composition that works so well in the cooler temperatures. So if I'm going for a night out, to a bar, to a club, whatever, in the autumn, in the winter, Pure Havan is an excellent choice for me. But I also love it as a daytime scent in those cooler temperatures as well. So, slightly limited in terms of when I could wear this, being just two months of the year or, or the, the cooler months of the year. Naxos, I mentioned earlier, I think is more versatile. It's an overall brighter fragrance. And I think because of that, because of the citrus in here, because of the, the florals that are in this, I think this works really well in spring as well as autumn and winter. I think, uh, as I mentioned, I could wear this in the summer as well. So really, Naxos is a fragrance I can wear year round. So it has to win in terms of versatility. But there's nothing wrong with having a fragrance that you prefer to wear in certain seasons. That's absolutely fine. You know, most of us have enough fragrances to be able to pick and choose what we wear in the different seasons. But I am comparing Comparing the two, so in terms of versatility, for me, Naxos wins. And finally, let's compare the prices. So the full retail price of Naxos is £170 for 100ml, and Pure Havan changes because it crops up at discounters. You're paying somewhere between £40-£50 for the 100ml, so it is obviously a much, much cheaper fragrance. The thing about Pure Havan is I've been hearing for years that it's a limited edition, that it's getting discontinued, and I have been looking recently when I was preparing to make this video, and it does not seem to be as available as it once used to be. You could pick this up from several discounter websites, and now it doesn't really seem to be available. And I have noticed that on eBay and on the websites where it's available, the price is creeping up a little bit. It's more at that £50 mark than the £40 mark. Same on eBay. And I think that the longer this one is uh, not available for, the more the price will go up. If you just look at Moogler's Ultra Zest, that's going for silly prices now. I think this was available for longer, so I'm not sure this will ever go up to the Ultra Zest 
discontinued prices. Who knows, maybe it will reappear, maybe it'll come back into stock. I don't know, I'm not saying it's discontinued, but at the moment, it doesn't seem to be as easy to get hold of as it used to be. The best place I found online that has stock is ccent.com. They seem to have a few of these. So if you wanna pick up Pure Havan, just in case it might be dropping out of circulation, it could be a good opportunity to do that. It's around 50 pounds and when it does get discontinued, if it does get discontinued, those prices are gonna go up. Uh, there is a link to CSense in the description below the video if you wanted to grab this. Please do, anyone let me know if you know for sure if this is on its way out or if it's sort of a gray area, we don't know. Is it discontinued, is it not? Is it limited edition? Is it likely to be on sale again? I think perhaps we really need George to just phone Moogler for us and find out once and for all if Pure Havan is getting discontinued. So George, if you're watching, maybe, uh, you know, that could be your next video. Okay, I've got two very good Naxos clones to recommend to you now. The two that I have are 1981X from Alexandria Fragrances and Fortune from Dua Fragrances. This is the one that I've had the longest. This is the beast mode version of Naxos. So this takes that Naxos DNA and gets it very, very close but it amps everything up. It amps up the honey, the tobacco, the lavender. So if you want a less subtle version, if you want a beast mode version of Naxos, if you want that big room filling projection, if you want that crazy sillage, then Fortune is gonna do it for you. Don't overspray this because it is very strong. Dua are known for bringing out stronger versions of popular fragrances, and I think that's what they've done with Fortune. And really, they don't compromise the composition too much. I don't think that it um, becomes too rough or too synthetic. I don't think they've unbalanced the, the pyramid by somehow making it stronger. So Fortune is a great option for that stronger version. 91X is overall probably the closest because I think the performance of this more matches the original Naxos. I think neither of these quite have the lovely juicy citrus that Naxos has in the opening. And I think maybe again, that is a quality of ingredients. It's not a big deal. It's only because I'm scrutinizing the fragrances and really, you know, picking these apart. But for me, Naxos does have that sort of very nice natural smelling citrus in the opening. Whereas these two don't quite have that in the air. Most people aren't gonna notice that, but those are the differences and two very good options if you don't wanna pay the full price for Naxos. I'm just gonna try and sum all that up in one succinct conclusion to end the video, hopefully. Let's see how that goes. So I don't think these two fragrances, Naxos and Pure Havan, I don't think they're different versions of the same fragrance. They're not, they're, they're different. They have different notes and they smell differently to me. Yes, they have similarities, so they are similar fragrances, but I don't think one replaces the other. I find Pure Havan has a bit more attitude, it's a bit more fun, whereas Naxos is a little more refined and subtle and sophisticated, and it definitely does smell more expensive. So I think with Naxos, you are getting what you pay for. So it really just depends what you want. I think you could own both of these fragrances. I enjoy them both and will wear them at different times. And as I said, Naxos to me has a bit better versatility for me to be able to wear that one year round. If you're interested in actually having that Naxos DNA with the lovely lavender and the, the citrus in there and you don't want to pay the full retail for it then you could get a partial you could get a decant of Facebook groups or you could use a sample website fragrance samples uk.com run by Greggy boy is a great place that's where I get a lot of my samples from or of course you've got those two clone options Alexandria fragrances 1981x if you want the closest to Naxos in terms of smell and performance or fortune from do it if you want the beast mode version of Naxos. So I hope that gives you a bit of information. If you were wondering about any of these fragrances, if you were maybe thinking of buying any, or if you were just curious as to how close Naxos and Pure Havan were, that's just my opinion. I'm sure maybe they work differently for other people, but I just thought I'd throw my two cents worth in there and, uh, and then you know what I think about them. Let me know what you think about them. What's your experience with these fragrances? If you've got Pure Havan, do you think it's worth also owning Naxos? Do the two coexist? in a collection, I'd love to hear from you. That's it from me, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful, thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>